This is my very first episode of What Kind of Asian Are You? The Conversation. Look at that. And, uh, <laughs> this guy is what you call, I'm going to look at you because I'm pretending there's a studio audience. This guy <laughs> is a true triple threat. He can act, he can sing, he can dance. And most recently, touring with Hamilton <laughs> as George Washington. Please yeah. welcome my guest, my first guest, Marcus Choi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> what kind of Asian are you, Marcus? I am a Korean, just like you. <laughs> you know, I, I, grew up in, I grew up in California, but I was born in Toronto. Okay, How so. did you start? doing what you're doing like what would you call yourself I, I mean I called you an actor singer dancer you're an all yeah I mean I, I just I guess to just call myself a performer like, like I grew up I grew up singing in church right so I was able to kind of sort of read music and like I have an ear for singing you know harmonies and different parts um, so that really helped and then I you know I just grew up as like a goofball <laughs> you know just making my parents laugh making people laugh and you know, like in Korean, they, they say you have a lot of ki, right? Like uh -huh. chi. Uh -huh. And it, it's like, you know, your vitality, right? And so for me, it all started at Disneyland. Okay. That's why I learned the business. You know, I learned mm -hmm. how to audition, get your pictures, get your resume together, take class. And, and then so, cut, cut to cut auditioning, to. <laughs> auditioning for Wicked, the, yeah. Wicked, the, the phenomenon of the century, <laughs> and getting it. So then you got, you did Wicked yeah. on Broadway? Yeah. Okay. And so you yeah, that was your parents that out. Was wild. Yeah, I flew my parents out and I, I, you know, I brought, I took them to the show and I was taking them, you know, backstage, introducing them to everybody. And, and, um, you know, after the show, I was like, well, what do you guys think? You know, and, um, you know, they're like, yeah, you know, it was, it was good. It was, it was, it was nice. I'm like, what, 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 what do you mean? Like, as far as, as far as shows go, this is, this is a big deal. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and, and my, my, my dad was like, well, you know, it's just, when are you going back to school? Mm. You know, as a foreigner, when my parents immigrated to America or to Canada first, their, their key to success for their children was go to school, go to school. And, um, you know, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't blame my parents for wanting that for me. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't hold that against them in any way because they're just trying to do the best that they can. No, right. How has your, uh, ethnic racial identity played a role in who you are today um it's it's so easy to fall into that trap of um if you're non-white then you're not enough right mm -hmm. or you're not appropriate for certain things or you know you don't fit the casting um and and i'm not denying that feeling within me because of course as an ethnic man, like I, I've, I've experienced that and I feel that, you know, um, but I just, I, I feel like what we do is, is, is hard enough, right? And my point of view on, on performing is, I, I wanna, I do it because I love it, right? And it brings me joy. Mm -hmm. So racially, I chose to make the decision that my ethnicity is an asset and it makes me unique. And at some point, it's not even about my ethnicity anymore. It's about, oh, Marcus showed me a take on this scene or these lines or this character that I didn't think about. When, when you're able to present something that they didn't expect, that's, that's, that's the win for me. What happened? What is your favorite, worst, funniest, off, most awful, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, experience of racism that you can remember. But your early the big I, the, the thing that comes to mind, um, like the biggest incidents of uh, of racism, was um, was in uh, in the nineties. My parents owned a store in South Central LA, and we got hit during the LA riots mm -hmm. after the the uh, the Rodney King trial happened mm -hmm. and. And the uh, police officers were acquitted, and um, it was just because we are directly affected by that. Mm -hmm. It was just such a clear and painful example of racism mm -hmm. um, on so many levels, too. Right. I mean, this system of oppression still exists, mm -hmm. right? 
And it's the community that is lashing out towards the system that is pitted them against each other, pitted right. us against each other. Right. But being a person of color, you are constantly living in this perpetual immigrant sensibility. Yeah. Right. This right. mindset that like, yeah, even though you're born here, you don't belong. Right. It's, well, uh, what about what about you? Like, do you do you have an experience um, like in the industry of? Oh, in the industry, come on! I have so yeah. many. It was a callback. I'm with somebody. It was we did great. You know, we. I had, I, and then the guy, the director, sits there and he's like, "Do it with an accent." So I was totally uh, thrown. Yeah. And he's like, "Do you need to go outside and think about it?" I was like, "Yeah." So I was like. All I know is I was thrown. I was nervous. I was like, why the fuck does he want me to do right. it in an accent? Right. I, I decided early on, I was like, I'm not going to do that mm -hmm. because it makes me feel awful. And unless it serves the scene or the character, unless it properly represents what the audition is, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. And so whenever I've been asked, I ask why said so, people of color need to get into the writing rooms mm -hmm. people of color need to direct need to create need to show run you know what i mean mm -hmm. um it makes a difference yeah it really it really does the representation yeah. makes a big difference um, yeah totally gonna make a hard right okay <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite home cooked meal growing up um like if I my my mom makes an incredible you get down it i will eat kimchi all day every day right i'm just I'm just a kimchi guy, right? Oh it's God. hard to, to just pick one thing because I love, you know, galbi and kimchi with, you know, with the lettuce and the samjang and, and, and the pantan and the chapche and all, all that, right? Uh, uh, Marcus, kamsamnida. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing this. And my my desire is to just have our stories, our uniqueness, and our things that unite us be told, you know? Yeah, yeah. So thank you. I've learned so oh, much thank about you. you. Thank you for doing this. <laughs>